Hello, my name is Tom McKinney, and along with my wife Colleen, we operate the Tom McKinney Vocal Studios and Rising Star Talent Development. We have studios in the greater Dallas area and in Houston area. What I want to talk about today is what do people most often ask me? What do you do to select a student to be in your studio? And here's the criteria. If you have an earnest and honest desire to work on your voice, I'll work with you. If you have pitch issues, in other words, if you cannot match pitches, then I'm not the person to start with. I'm the person that well, after you've conquered that to come and work with because I need to work with someone who is understanding that they have to be able to sing the correct notes and the correct rhythms for me to be effective as a teacher with them. So as you're looking at the possibility of entering this industry of being a voice, uh, a, a vocal person, you want to make sure that you are able to sing the notes. A lot of people can sing along with another singer, but that's not how you're able to make a living. So you have to be able to sing with just the music accompaniment. So we have, there are many um, uh, websites uh, that you can go to for ear training. And if you have an issue about ear training, go to one of those uh, areas on the on Google search, search out ear training, and look at what will work best for you because there are a myriad of ways that those uh, sites teach you ear training and pitch uh, development. Uh, I will work with anyone and everyone says, well, do I have to have a really, really great voice if I want to take voice lessons? No, because voice lessons is the process by which your voice continues to improve. But that issue of being able to sing on pitch is absolutely essential. We want to talk about also what are some of the lifestyles that people uh, worry about when it comes to being singers? In other words, uh, there are three kinds of people that I don't teach. One is a smoker because a smoker eventually is going to run into a real problem. Cheerleaders is uh, another person because if you get a voice really set up and a young person goes out and yells or screams, that's going to blow everything that we've done in here and you've wasted my time and your money by coming in here and then going out and yelling or screaming. And I've had that to happen. We've had people who have burst blood vessels in their vocal cords, uh, whether they were a cheerleader or yelling at a game or something other like that. You have to treat your voice as an instrument and you got to take care of the instrument. And yelling and screaming is not uh, one of those. And another person that I'm reluctant to teach is someone who is studying with another voice teacher who has a different approach. Right, wrong, I'm not making a comment on whether they're right or wrong, but if you're going to study with a voice teacher, you need to be able to give that person your undivided attention and practice ethic. Otherwise, you're trying to please two masters and it never works that way. Hope this information has been helpful and come back again and we'll have more to talk about in the singing world. Thank you.